Hello everybody, it is me, Zumad, and I am back with another gaming video, and I have brought back the Astroneer series. I don't even know what to say. So much has happened to the game since I've last played it, and it's absolutely incredible. So, um, I have been hearing a lot about, like, the updates and things that they've been adding. I haven't actually played the game in a while because I've been busy, but now I've had some time to play it, so I figured, hey, I'll make an Astroneer video. So yeah, the, um, the animation I released a few days ago is now wrong because the Astroneer 1.0 release, um, the release date for that has been changed. So yeah, that video is a bit off, so I will be playing Astroneer for the rest of this year, and then I will be leaving in January, and then in February, whenever I return to YouTube, I will right away start covering the Astroneer 1.0 update when it comes out on, I believe, the 6th of February in 2019. So, I am kind of going into this blind. I have intentionally kind of shielded myself from all the features that have been added. I mean, I have been watching the System Era vlogs, but I have been kind of shielding myself a bit just so everything is, like, very new whenever I go into the game. So, here we go, Astroneer Season 3. Oh! And this one will last longer, because now I know that System Era won't be releasing updates and bugging the world, so let's get into this. Astroneer Season 3 is ready. So, one thing I just noticed already is I think they changed the sky design. That's actually really beautiful. Here we go. Oh, it's been ages since I played this. Alright, I'm looking for anything that's different. Not quite noticing anything yet. Alright, here we go. Fun little animation here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially started Astroneer Season 3. So, before we really start doing anything, I believe... Okay, here we go. They still have this, so... I'm going to see if they added in anything for the update. It doesn't appear that way. So, looks like they didn't have any update news there. So, of course we're going to get this thing going. Alright. Okay, so now everything is ready to go, so I'm just going to place this right here, so we can start fabricating. So, ooh, this, something's different, something's different. This, this has three now. Ooh, let's look here. Okay, so it just has those two items. Now I'm going to open the research catalog, see if there's a, whoa, this is different, this is really cool. Ooh, listen, hang on. Those sounds are pretty cool. So, um, let's see here. I'm not seeing anything new quite yet. There's probably something. Alright, so that's the shredder from that one update. I'm trying to... Wait. Wait, we can crap. Wait, we can make a thruster now? That's that's pretty cool. Okay. We're going to most likely be using that in the future. Is there anything else new here? Um All right. So the shuttles have definitely changed. Wait, what is this? They have a small, medium and lo whoa, they've added a small shuttle. That's that's pretty neat. So yeah, rovers are the same. Got the storages. So yeah, everything else, it looks like they haven't... Well, I mean, S System Era, ha they've added a lot of stuff, as far as I know. I know, like, they've added new resource. Well, I think we've already found the new resources, so... First, I'm going to grab some compound, just to start off our base. Alright, so I just gathered that compound, and whenever I said, um, we just saw, like, the new ones, it probably looked like I was saying, like, oh, look, compound, it's a new thing. That, that would be stupid. I'm talking about this here. I think this is 
quartz, right? I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, I just remembered, um, they have added a new planet, haven't they? With, like, new features from the 1.0 update in there, where, like, that's, like, their test planet, kind of, where they can get feedback. I think that's a pretty cool way to approach testing 1.0 features. But, um, also, one thing is, everybody, wish my computer happy birthday. It just turned one. <laughs> this is silly. Uh, so, yeah, a year ago, um... My, uh, I, I bought my computer, like, a year ago that I make my YouTube videos on. Because, one, I just thought it would be nice to be able to have my own PC to game on, and one that could actually handle gaming, because the one I was using before this was, like, kind of like my family computer, and it was getting pretty old. I think it's, like, 12 years old now, so it cannot handle anything. Like, it crashes with File Explorer. It's that bad. So... Um, I wanted my own PC that I could game on, and something I could make YouTube videos on. So, I got that. So, I got my computer about a year ago, and now... I don't know, is this gonna be a thing now? Am I gonna have to, like, say happy birthday to my computer every year? So, yeah, guys, so it looks like I've actually spawned in a pretty good area, so... There's plenty of research to be found everywhere. So, I'm going to be gathering this. And... Um, there is a lot in the trees, so that is also something very, very cool. So, it's been ages since I've actually seen a bunch of trees like this. But, I think that's because a bunch of worlds I had before had, um, like, very little to no trees in them. So, it is pretty nice to have some. I think they look pretty nice. Alright, guys, so, I went around and I gathered some research, so now I'm going to see what we should research next. So let's take a look here. Um, hmm. Ooh, you will, all right, so I have 215 bytes. So, oh yeah, I actually, ooh, I actually haven't even used like extenders or anything from like any of like the super cool stuff from the base building update yet, actually. So, that is something I will have to do in this season. Well, let's see here. Um. Alright, so I'm going to need the smelting furnace. That is definitely one thing I will need soon. Um. Ooh, what's the chemistry lab? Wait. Tungsten, glass, sir. Oh my gosh. There, I'm... I'm imagining how many resources they've added. Oh wait, the chemistry lab, that's just where you make hydrazine, I think. And an atmospheric condenser, I think that also makes hydrazine. That's just like the new fuel condenser. Iron, glass, plastic. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I'm seeing all of these new resources. It's kind of intimidating, but it's okay. So... Yeah, I think our first priority is the smelting furnace. So that's going to need one compound, which I already have. But I'm going to need to get two resin, and I'm going to need just a few more bites. So here are some bites. Um, might be another one out here somewhere, right? Um, does not look like there are any over here. Oh, I never looked in that thing yet pop that open. I'm just going to grab these last research samples. Then I'm going to grab these two resources and let's get out of here. Alright, these are starting to regrow. That's actually really cool. I just started noticing that they're popping back. So, let's grab a bunch of these. Okay, let's take a look now. Okay, I have 333 bytes, so I could get the smelting furnace. But wait, isn't there a, um, what do you call it? Isn't there a research chamber? Wait, how do I, how do you research things? Did they get rid of the research chamber? Did they replace it with a different mechanic? No, that, that can't be right. I, I feel like... It must be somewhere, right? No, this is backpack stuff. Oh, okay, this backpack makes a lot more sense, the categorization. So, 
It's backpack. Then there's like kind of like level two, um, like that would like take up like kind of like medium sized. Then you have large, and then you have like your vehicles and vehicle bays and stuff like that. I'm so confused right now. I'm so baffled. There, there's no research. Like, there's no research chamber. Wait. Here, here, here. Let me, let me look at this. Are they like, um... Are, like, the big researches? Are they just, like, the research samples, but they just, like, don't respawn or something? Now I'm curious. I wanna... I need to take a look at this. So, right over here, we have a research pod. And... If I just pluck this off the tree, and we carry it back. Ooh, resin, I need that. Um, where's home? There's home. It's telling me I need to research it, but I'm so confused, guys. I'm really, really confused. But let's go get that resin that I found over there. Here's a different patch, but I mean it's closer, so it'll work. I just need to get one, then I can get a smelter. So, oh wait, hang on a second. Maybe it's not in the... Oh! That makes a lot more sense. Okay, okay, okay. It wasn't in the backpack, I guess, because it's already unlocked. Oh, well. Okay. I was going to say, if System Era got rid of research chambers, like, they changed the mechanic, I'm just wondering, like, what would they replace it with? But we have that going now. It's actually printing a lot faster, I think, than it used to. So that's nice. And now I need to get a smelter. So now we have 100 bytes left over. And then that is going to continue printing. And I believe for the smelter we need two compound, which I already have. And I need to get some resin. Alright guys, so it looks like the research chamber has finished. I just got some uh, more resin and I am on the verge of dying right now. But no worries, it's just a little death, never killed anyone, so... Ooh... That is a very pretty sunrise. Look at that. That is very cool. Welp, I'm here enjoying the sunrise. And of course, some storm decides to come along. Come on, I just want to finish. No. Some storm decides it's going to ruin everything because I can't ever look at a sunrise without a storm just blowing in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our first storm of season three, I guess. So, storms are still a thing. All right, guys, so the storm has basically passed, so I'm going to carry on with what we are doing. So we have our research chamber here, and now I need to open this and get ourselves a furnace. In the meantime, I'm also going to look at here in the catalog and see what else we need. All right, so I'm thinking of going with a medium solar panel. Not quite sure if I should yet, though. I'm not quite sure. Because 3,000 bytes, that's quite a bit. So, I'm probably going to go with the small solar, which is just 500. And then I'm going to use that to power my base. Alright, here we go. We have our smelter and our research chamber, so now we just need some platforms to put them on. Uh, this is all we have for now, so I need to get some more resin. This can't end well. This is not going to end well. Oh no, come on, come on, I can make it, I can make it! Okay, okay, I made it. So, I got some more resin, so now I can start printing a large platform A. Let's also take a look at the catalog. So, the small solar costs 500 bytes, and we are currently at 129. So if we just keep on running by and getting our research samples, we should be able to eventually reach 500 bytes. 
Well, also with the help of the research chamber, which I will get going once that platform is finished printing. All right, guys, so it looks like we have... All right, so it's becoming nighttime now. And here's our large platform A, so we're just going to unpack this. And... Hmm... Where should I mount it? I'm going to put it right here. Or, no, wait, I can't do that. Well, I'll need to rotate it. Because of that arrow there, so... Let's just line this up as best as we can. There, I'd say that's probably... Oh, no. I messed it all up. Um, it could use a little more rotation this way. There. That's good. So now... Let's grab the research chamber and pop it on. Alright, so now we can grab our research, put it on, um, and, ooh, it has 1,248 bytes, so that will definitely get us um, very close to our small solar. Then I'm thinking I'm just going to use a few small solar panels to power this, um, to make it run faster during the day then I will because this isn't really a very good one but it has 1400 bytes so I can imagine there are plenty more in the trees so I'm going to go out and pick some off of the trees while this is researching and then I can start getting the medium solar panels all right, everybody, so it's been a few minutes, and I have just checked on this, and we have over 500 bytes now, so we can get the small solar. But now, the question that concerns me, because I just noticed that it requires copper, is where am I going to get copper? So, for now, I'm just going to dig a hole and throw all my resources in it. Alright, and now I'm going to start printing some tethers, and I'm going to see if I can find a cave system nearby, and see if I can make something work. So I'm going towards these mountains just because they're pretty close by, and mountains tend to be pretty promising when it comes to trying to find caves. So I'm just going to go along the border of the mountain and see if I can find anything. All right, guys, so I've rerouted the tether line because that area wasn't very good. There were no caves, and I was heading over to this spacecraft because I wanted to see if there could perhaps be copper in here, but then I found this cave by accident, so that's pretty nice. So I'm going to see if I can get in this thing. Okay, I can. So I'm just going to dig through here and see if I can find any copper. Oh no, okay, so I dug through that a little bit. There is a storm somewhere. Where's the storm? Okay, okay, okay. Abort, 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 abort. Okay, um, 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 where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? Uh, mountain. No, uh, it's too far away from my tether. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Um, quick, grab the tether. Go. In the hole, in the hole. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna dig this a little deeper. That was a close call. Alright, everybody. So, it looks like the storm is just passing. Where is the storm? Those wind lines look really cool. Yeah. So, the dust is getting out of the sky now. So, it looks like the storm has blown past. So where was I? Oh yeah, I was going through the spacecraft here. All right, everybody, so I have just um, printed some more tethers. I went out and got some more um, compounds, so I'm just going to drop in here very carefully and place a tether. All right, so let's take a look around here. All right, everybody, so I'm going to gather these few resources here. I'm going to 
probably before next episode definitely look into what these resources are used for um ooh is that two aluminum or is that just a new resource uh i can't see system error please if you are watching please fix this i can't see when i'm in the spacecraft oh gosh it's really bad i can't grab it i can't grab the aluminum okay there it is or is it aluminum, or is it... I'm trying to remember what it's called. Oh, that's titanium. Okay. Told you it was something new. So, that looks like it's about everything. So, let's get out of here. Alright, so now we are out from underneath the spacecraft so now i'm going to grab my power cells we still need to get some more copper so down into the cave we go so all right so we have some of those guys over there um all right we should be able to make a path along here Alright, it's going to dig along here, place some tethers, we are good to go. So let's take a look around, um, got this down here, whoa, that looks cool, that's really cool, what is that? Alright, so that's laterite, that's aluminum ore, which is not what we are here for, I'm looking for malachite which is copper so let's just go deeper all right we have quartz but it's not what i'm looking for all right guys so i found some malachite so this is pretty nice so now i can just get some malachite all right, there's one Malkite. There's two. Or no, wait, that's quartz. Just need a little more Malkite. Alright, so it looks like the, oh, that's, yeah, I think that's all of the Malkite here, so there is some left over that I left behind, so I'm just going to replace some quartz. I'm not really sure if I need quartz yet, but that's just because um, I haven't really looked into what it's used for, but now we have, let's take a look here. Uh, two, almost three Malkite, but two will be plenty for now. All right, everybody, so I am back at the base, and now I'm just going to grab my resin, and then I'm going to start printing a platform, and that's just because I need a platform for my smelter to be on, so I believe I need two resin, if I am correct. So, let's just take a look here. Yeah, two resin. And now we can start making another platform. Alright, everybody, so we have our platform here. Thinking of putting it right here. Hopefully this will be facing the right way. Nope, it's not. So, it's going to rotate it around like so. Now, I th think that's almost lined up enough. Alright, there we go. That is ready. And now, I just need to grab my furnace, pop it on, unpack it, and now I just need to put my Malkite on it and get smelting. 
Or no, wait, I do have three Melkite. I just never noticed it in my backpack. And this is definitely going to... Oh no, just get get on the... Get on the smel... Ah, get on the smelter. Okay, thank you. That was really painful. I figured I can use my power cells to speed up this process. Just for a few moments. Ooh, it is... It's lasting a lot longer than I thought it would last. Um, alright, that's our first copper completed. And now, I can grab this copper. Then I need to go to my small solar panel. And now, I can print that. Then I can put it on this platform, so it does have a use after all. And now, things will get a lot faster from this point forward. Alright, there's another small solar panel. And now, things are definitely, yep, things are going a lot faster. I mean, we still don't have a whole lot of energy, but this is definitely better than what we had before. So yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Astroneer. I'm afraid this is where I'm going to have to end it. Now, before, I always wanted my gaming videos typically around 20 to 30 minutes long. However, I might be changing that. I'll probably end up, um, be... I'll probably be making gaming videos now that are typically like 10 to 20 minutes long. I was just told that, um, I don't know, some friends, um, I was asking some friends uh, for feedback on my channel. And they were telling me uh, they recommended, I guess, shorter gaming videos. But um, let me know in the comments what you think of shorter gaming videos to do in the future. Now, um, if they are shorter, I will, of course, have a lot less editing to do. That actually, like, cuts it in half. So I will be able to release gaming videos more often if I shorten them. So I want to hear what you guys think about shorter gaming videos in the comments. I don't know how long this one will turn out because I haven't really been keeping track of time while recording, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this gaming video and make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I release episode two of this Astroneer series. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!